Hey guys, how is it going? It is your girl Sleazy here, and welcome back to Survival Sundays. Now, I didn't have time to record the forest, unfortunately. I am very bummed about that. You guys know how fanatical I am about that game. Uh, but you guys will get that next week. I, I really am working on a very, very good episode for that. Uh, but anyway, this is Subnautica. And once again, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the game. Get yourself together. Lucky. Alright guys, it is not quite day number three yet. But we got an incoming message. And let's go check it out. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so there could potentially be some uh some uh people that have survived the crash, which uh which is really good. I'm we're definitely gonna go ahead and check that out. Probably next episode, because uh, there are a few things I would like to get done for this episode. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, guys, day number three has arrived here in Subnautica. I just love watching those sunrise in the distance. It is, I don't know, they, they did a really good job with this game, honestly. I really thoroughly think this game is beautiful, has a lot to offer. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this series pretty far, I feel like. Uh, but anyway, for the purpose of this episode, I had an idea of what I would like to do. Uh, personally, I want I really really want to build the flashlight. Uh, we have everything we need except for copper ore to make the battery. That's one thing I want to make. The other thing I want to make was a high capacity O2 tank. And we're going to need a lot of titanium for that. So let's just hop into the water and uh, start, start, start our adventures, baby. Oh, I want my knife out, baby. Also, I'm starting to realize that we're starting to get really low on... Uh, on some water, so we're definitely gonna want to do something about that. Anything of these things? Oh, I thought. All right, we're gonna have to get some air, I think. Thirty seconds. Yeah, let's get some air, baby. Wee! That's just so much fun doing that. Alright, so we gotta find titanium, we gotta find copper ore. And jaw. I would like to find a cave, if possible, or those big cool reefs. Those usually house a lot of good stuff. Uh, is there anything? Oh, yes. What's the bit here? So we got some titanium for that, and if we have time, we definitely will. Uh, we definitely will uh, go check out. Okay, I found a cave system. Let's get some air. We definitely will go check out uh, Life Pod Three. If we have time, it all depends if we have time or not. In this in this episode. But I, 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 honestly, I really got some more titanium. Don't really need titanium. Okay. No, yeah, that was kind of disappointing. Oh, that was a. Oh god, I, I'm so afraid of those things. I need copper, baby. Air, please. Sorry about that, guys. Give me a second. 
I thought I turned my notifications off, guys. I really do apologize for that. Oh, yeah. I want this. Thank you. You guys know what I'm looking for. Salvage. That could be useful. Inventory full. So let's go back to the life pod and see if, uh... We can at least craft the high capacity O2 tank. And then I will definitely go get some some copper. The copper for a lot of good things, but right now I'm really just interested in this flashlight. First things first though, I noticed that my water is a little bit low. So we're gonna take this bladder fish and convert it into good H2O, baby. So there we go. We got some of that. Um, we're also going to need to break down some of this metal salvage we found into titanium. And then, yes, we can go ahead and craft the battery, which is really good. But what I really want to do is craft this high-capacity O2 tank. Let me just, I'm just double checking something. Give me a second, guys. Oh, we do have copper ore. All right, cool. We're gonna get the, we're gonna get the flashlight then. Bees are an idiot. Uh, flashlight, flashlight. Oh, okay, so Caution. we just see glass. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Let's go ahead and equip the high capacity O2 tank. And basically what she's saying is this thing is going to blow up. This this mother trucking chip is about to blow up. Um, which is interesting. Okay, so we know where to find glass, guys. We just got to find the, uh, the cave systems. The cave systems. Holy shit, man, I just got so hungry. Maybe over here. I'm gonna grab another bladder fish. And then uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna locate. Dude, see how much more oxygen we have though? Like, this is so good for, like, the longer and deeper dives that we're going to have to do. Because we're not going to stay in the shallows forever, you know? We're, we're going to we're gonna venture off and be little fishes. Okay, I think I found a cave system. I don't know where that went, but I don't really care. Okay, glass. I found some glass. Oh, quartz. Two-rate glass. All right, let's, uh, let's head back to uh, the life pod. And, uh, we're gonna have to get some water. If you can see down at the bottom left of the screen, that blue circle is out water, our hydration. So we're, we, we're definitely gonna want to uh, tackle that. Uh, go ahead and turn this into good H2O again. And then I am going to create some glass. Then we are going to, where was it? Create the flashlight. And there we go. So before we do anything, I, I gotta make sure we have plenty of water. Our food's looking a little bit low. Let's go ahead and top that off, baby. And yeah, I think we have time in this episode to go ahead and check out life pod number three. Let's go do it, baby. Now that we have the flashlight, we can kind of dive at night a little bit more. Although I really, I still don't like that idea so much just because uh, it gets a little bit more dangerous at night. More creatures come out and stuff like that. Uh, but nonetheless, we, uh, we are going to keep trucking. 
Dude, this high capacity O2 tech though, I I'm in love. I'm in love with it. Uh, we're gonna be going through this shiznad. We gotta be careful of the stalker fish, baby. Yeah, there's one right there. There's one of those bad boys right there. Avoid. Ah, I think we found the remnants of Life Pod 3, baby. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. And there is usually... We already have the blueprint for that, so that's why it, uh... It, uh, turned into tit titanium. Alright, let's head back to the base. I think that's all there was for, um, the purpose of that. Which is good. It looks like the sun's about to go down, which will complete day number three here on, uh, in Subnautica. Which is, uh, which is good. We got a lot done this episode, guys. Like, a lot done. A lot of good things happened this episode. Look at that. Okay. Uh. And. I'm gonna stop putting some of this stuff. And, uh. We're definitely. I'm thinking next episode. We're going to want to build a base. And it's not going to be a fancy big base. It's just going to be enough to get some storage equipment. Uh, because as you can see, we are starting to run a little bit low on space here. And I feel like having uh, a, like uh, just three or four storage units in uh, a base, a small little base build, would be good. Okay, so uh, we, are, we are looking good with that. And uh, I hope everyone has an enjoyable rest of the day. This does conclude an episode for Subnautica. Like always, guys, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscri subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, mother truckers.